Hey guys, welcome to another episode of LARPshire. As you can see, we now have an actual set for filming our videos, which I'm super stoked about. And in today's video, we're going to walk through the process that we went through to set this up and uh, the various steps involved. So I hope you stick around and I hope you enjoy. All right, so our basement has a nautical theme. And while we didn't want the set to be uh, strictly nautical as well, we did want it to be something that would um, still look good with the rest of the basement. So this is the corner that we're going to set up in, and um, once we moved the pictures and the couches, we basically had a couple of blank walls there. I saw this video that Rachel Maxey did, where she made some really cool old beams out of foam, and um, thought that that would look really good and help kind of break up the white background. Um, after we did a little bit of research and we decided that we wanted these to be permanent, we decided to just use real wood and make those beams. So here's Aaron showing you how we did that. Okay, so these are the boards that we're using for the new LARP Shire kind of backdrop set. And see, this was super fun to do and not that hard. So we went to Lowe's, we picked up an untreated 4x4 post and an untreated 2x4. So all told, this was about 30 bucks, and we distressed them using a variety of things, including a machete, a tire iron. You can kind of see the machete. We used to do these cuts in the wood right here, as well as to take chunks out of the corner here just to give it that really weathered, kind of broken in look. The tire iron gave us these nice sort of crescent dings and dents, and, um, once we did that, we have all the all this damage on the wood. We took this just from a fire pit and rubbed this on the wood, and you kind of get the coal down into the scratches, and it really highlights the damage there and makes them kind of pop out. Um, and then once that's done, just to make sure that they're safe to handle and we're not getting splinters all in ourselves, Take some sandpaper. This is 120, just a medium sandpaper. It also helps to rough it up so that when we stain it, it'll take the stain really well. So just kind of run over that, sand it. You get the, the splinters and burrs off and you kind of work the charcoal into the scratches more. And so now that we've got all this done, we'll just wipe them down and then they'll be ready for stain. Right, guys these are stained they're looking really good so we're gonna give them some time to dry and once they're ready we'll go downstairs and get them put on the wall all right so now we have the boards fastened in we had to cut out the baseboard down here to accommodate the post um, the two by fours were cut at 45s to run up to about where the ceiling goes and just a couple of screws at both ends to tack those in this is actually so snug in here that it didn't require any screws. It's not going anywhere. So now all that's left is to put in some shelving and some surfaces that can be populated with various sorts of medieval looking knickknacks and whatnot. So, so far so good. So to decorate our shelves, we made a series of bottles based on a video that we watched Nerdforge do on YouTube. We took basic little, um, you know, $5 bottles that you can buy at Michael's and we decorated them by kind of 
spackling Elmer's glue until it dried and became a nice frosted kind of exterior on all these little bottles. Then we would use twine, herbs, and the like to kind of decorate the bottles and make them unique from each other as we were going for sort of an eclectic uh, tavern aesthetic up in here. Um, and so from there, we could just take our little bottles and different little eclectic items and decorate our shelves. Another thing that I really wanted for the set was a barrel. So I went to Menards and I got this really cool half barrel and um, we decided to refurb it and use it as a shelf in the set. So this is a real Jack Daniels whiskey barrel, so the inside of it is charred. So uh, the first thing Aaron did was he took a wire brush and uh, brushed it on the inside to knock off any of the flakes and a lot of that soot that was in there. Since you could still get um, some black stood on your hands by touching the inside, uh, we decided to use a thick black paint and coat that on the inside to kind of seal all of that in. The next thing that Aaron did was use an orbital sander to sand the whole uh, surface of the barrel. Um, this barrel was kept outdoors and so there was some rust on uh, the bands and there was some mold and mildew kind of on the outside of the wood. So uh, this did a good job of kind of knocking off that surface layer so we'd be able to then restain it. The stain we used was a dark walnut, which is the same color that we use for a lot of the other wood in our basement. This did end up taking it a bit darker than I had expected, but even with that, I was really happy with the final product. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the behind the scenes on how we set this up. And I hope you found the steps to be interesting and maybe even helpful if you plan on doing something similar yourself. Um, if you did, as always, drop a like, that helps us out. And please do subscribe as well, because we plan on putting out a lot of new content now that we have this set built, and I really think you'll enjoy it. So um, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Adventure awaits. Mm -hmm.